guys, here we go again. Another day on Maui, another adventure. And so, uh, for those who didn't see my uh, previous couple of videos, then I am house sitting at uh, a family member's house here on Maui for a week. And uh, I am driving their car right now. And this is their road that they uh, live down. And it is kind of crazy. And so today, I'm going to find a beach and hope for some better weather over there. I'm going towards Kihei Beach. I haven't been over there uh, to that uh, side of the island yet, so just going to uh, head on over, uh, check it out, show some uh, scenes along the way, give you a little taste of Maui. Here we go. Like somebody's house, or yeah, they just wild the surfboards. They're just uh, they must have like had them, you know, like from throughout the years of surfing. Yeah, I wasn't sure if maybe it was a surf shop or something. No, it's a house, yeah. yeah. What's your name? Malia, Malia, yeah, cool, Gabriel. Nice to meet you. you too. My mom has a store in Makawa. Oh, okay, it's called Jewels of the White Tara. Uh huh, she sells like that kind of clothing that you're wearing, tank like, tops and yeah. stuff. And she travels surf, to surf, Thailand. Tara. Nice. Yeah, I actually got this, uh, I think in Thailand. Yeah, you went to Thailand? Yeah, I've been to Thailand like five times. Yeah, I went there three times. Cool. Yeah. Which, uh, islands? I went to the Koh Phi Phi. Nice, I was there last, uh, like October. They're, they're closing that down oh, uh, just temporarily for like six months to uh, oh, do no. some do some re no to do like more restorations or something like that or it's oh. getting like over touristed so all right so that was uh, Malia born and raised on Maui here and uh, this is Baldwin Beach this is where she was going and she said it's a, a nice beach I was gonna stop and uh, show the beach but it is uh, raining so fortunately uh, where I'm going the uh, Kihei Beach is uh, the sunnier side of the island so hopefully there's a uh, sun in that direction. Check this out up ahead. I'm gonna guess it's a sugarcane mill. Not sure if it's still in operation. From what I recall, then Maui is actually the only island that still uh, does sugarcane production. So it's possible it could still be uh, in operation, but it definitely looks uh, in pretty bad shape. And I think it's safe to say that it is no longer in working order. Looking pretty uh, rusted out. That would be a mission sometime, is sneak in there at night and go poke around and maybe get arrested and thrown in jail, which is why I'm not going to do it. Hawaiian Commercial and Sugar Company. And so at least I can get a, a little closer look at it. This is the administrative offices, obviously. And then the factory. That's why you don't want to sneak in there. They're looking for you. The past of Hawaii, no longer dependent on sugarcane. Check out the rainbow, strong one. different terrain than the uh, like jungle on the North Shore. Wailea 
Cantina, half mile. Looks pretty swanky around here. Hopefully it's a nice beach. Found a parking spot. A little ways away from uh, the beach, but figured I should grab it while I found one. Because this whole area here is just like Sheraton, Marriott, all kinds of uh, big fancy hotels. I can see the water out there though. So there must be a way to get to it. The Fairmont Kealani. And so it looks like I'm at Polo Beach. Excuse me. Do you know how to get to the beach from here? All right, good news. Nice little beach. So that's the Sugar Museum, across from the old sugar cane mill here. Driving back, looking for some dinner. The lights don't work very good on this uh, Jeep, so I got to, uh, or this tracker, so I got to get back before dark. Coming into Paia here. for some grub. Got a uh, chicken avocado crepe here. Cool spots. 